Does that make all the difference? All set? No. <laughs> it's too loud. Because what you hear is coming through his headphones. That's power, baby. There's, we don't have volume control here, they do. We don't. All right, you're on, Betty. Okay. Adam, Adam Chair. You're Thank on. you. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, Golden Board of Select Meeting of October 6, 2014, and it's about 6.20. We'll ask everyone to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Are we going to get that nose back? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And we can approve warrants um, after we listen to um, the water commissioners. Uh, Commissioner Sheehan, and we'll let like to address us about um, David Polkari. Okay, all right. You've, so you have somebody that can fill Bruce's slot until the next election, right? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Bruce did a lot of good work for. Gentleman has very good qualifications. He does. Good. He will in the spring. Uh -huh. What's good? He's got you know, he's professional engineers in the business. Doesn't get any better than that. Very good. Again, the soul certainly be hard to fill versus uh, exactly. Series, but, uh, it's a nice did he serve on any other boards in town? His name sounds so familiar. I, I, I believe he may have been on stormwater management, maybe. Yes, was he? I believe you are. Yeah. Yep. Very good. Are you seeking your approval for the okay. vacancy? In accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 41, Section 11, and we'll have to have a roll call vote of both uh, boards to appoint David uh, Polkari to fill a vacancy. And um, we did accept Bruce's recent resignation, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. We did. And thanked him for his work. So do I have a motion? Um, I'll make a motion to accept David Bakari um, on from Wood Street to a the uh, water board water commissioner. And I'll second that motion until the next annual election. Until the next annual election, which will be May. This In May fourth, two thousand fifteen. Okay. Um, we'll do a roll call vote. All in favor? Aye. Jack. Aye. Yes. Jimmy. Aye. Aye. Hi. Good morning, yes. Gorski, yes. So it's unanimous. Thank him for coming forward to offer to do this for us. You did that nicely. It's a nice transition. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else you guys need to talk with us about? How's everything going good? Mm -hmm. I'm slow side right now. So it is. Nice. It's good. It's Time to out. catch your breath and yes. regroup. Hey, Hayroll has a problem. We've received numerous calls about the sewer smell. Yep. And it's mm -hmm. with the Hayville plant. Mm -hmm. Because of the density of the, sometimes we have fog and mist, and then it just keeps percolating. It was down Main Street today, and it was on School Street the other day. Okay. I thought, I thought my son picked it I know. <laughs> we have a problem with it. I was just actually there the other day. We have a problem with it. Just as so. I don't know how I'm going to fix it. It, it. It's a problem. How long do you think it's been going on? At least a, a month or so, anyway. Is it a, okay, because yeah. I was driving along the river and I said, oh my gosh, the river doesn't smell I'm fair. curious, what's an adjuster? I mean, what, do you I, know I, that? I'm actually, I'm not sure. I think what, like, I, what I heard. I work at the plant, but uh, yeah. I have no idea. The gentleman I talked to wasn't very knowledgeable. Yeah. And yeah. As you drive in and out of the plant, it's, <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> So they are working on it, though. I believe that's the case. I believe the I read an article on the. Has released a letter. Yeah. And I, I don't know if it was in the paper. It, it was in the paper. Okay, it was in the paper. It did, but they were working on it. Were we getting calls here at our water department? Mm -hmm. Oh, we were. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The table certainly has the one that fish right. 
Well, people from Bradford actually went in the paper today and they said, well, you know, after 68 years, we're moving because we can't stand the smell anymore. So I, I didn't know the history. I'd, so right away that said to me that must must be going on for a long time. You know, sometimes the farmer when he was... Uh, yeah, I remember, the we used to fertilize remember? It used to be a time we just had to put up with that. Yeah. Yeah. For, about, for about two weeks and then it would go away. Exactly. Yeah. So maybe they shouldn't sell so quickly. I know, they the should. Property <laughs> values will be down if they don't get it straightened out. <laughs> Seller's market. Okay, thank you both yeah. for coming in and taking care of that for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well done. Jim Hill. Well, David comes in someday. For, for Would you have him come in and say hi to us so we know who he is, Jack? Yes, yeah. our meeting. Oh, you, don't you run for five? No. Oh, okay. So two. Yeah. 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 Just, okay. Okay. That's all. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. Very good. All right. Then it shows the water and sewer. It's water, water and sewer. Water and sewer. Yeah, the board is. It represents okay. both. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Coming in. Thank you. All righty. Water and sewer commissioners. Okay. And we've got the, um, in five minutes, Wait, do you want to just do the uh, Yeah, let me do the warrants. Yeah, yeah, that's we'll a great that. idea. We've got five minutes before little our housekeeping next. here. Um, I'm going to do the warrants, the payroll warrant is the first one, 15-15, for a total of $131,198.70. Do I have? Second. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I abstain on the payroll warrant. Okay. Thank you. Deduct warrant 15-13A, that's 15-13A, for a total of $24,783.25. Do I have a second? Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 And then the last is the bill warrant, number 15-15, for a total of $260,173.11. Do I have a second? Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. okay. Terrific. Um, we did approve the property use permits. Um, there were several on our desk in our other office. You signed them? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I went through them and signed them. Yeah. There are no bill submittals from Bagnell School, Nancy? No. Okay. Um, winter wrap. What does. Um, the thing for is that what we've got right here? Yeah, in the road commission. Okay, we're going to review and vote to sign the winter rapid recovery road program, a reimbursement request prepared by the road commissioner regarding state funding from the 2014 pothole and winter recovery program to repair potholes and other damages caused by recent severe winter weather. And we have that in front of us. And I need a vote to do this. Uh, do I have a motion to? Do this for uh, I'll make a, I'll make a motion to um ex to accept the road recovery road program reimbursement request from our road commissioner Robert Akalian. Uh, if you give a dollar or more. As a discuss discussion item, the um, total expenditures for the program is thirty two thousand and thirty six dollars. Uh, this is available funding from the this is funding that's available from the 2014 pothole and winter recovery program is a that one, one time event so one okay. past winter because remember how bad it was the yes. roads no. were this is just a reimbursement yes so, so we had spent that money now we need to re reimburse it okay so it's a line item transfer it's like a chapter 90 oh, chapter 9 okay yeah. that's fine do we all sign this nancy yes where okay. the on the side where the arrows are okay. have we have we have a motion on the floor yep all right. A second, please. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. We'll sign the document this evening. Well, our friends from the library are Coming next on the agenda. The the Good evening. You're always welcome to come in unless the executive oh, session. <laughs> Why not on TV? <laughs> Just open up another channel, that's all. <laughs> Get a bigger audience. Hello. 
We'll just slide that over to Nancy, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Good. How's everybody? Good. Looks like you have perfect attendance. I think we're shy. You are? Okay. A good group. Is the uh, interim director joining you? Yes, yes. Okay. Momentarily. Okay. Very good. All right. We'll wait for him. Has um, all this fill been delivered to the Bagnell School, or is that happening for the? Um, Greg had told us they were they had access, and we were going. Loam to was something they were bringing. Was yes, it? loam. Yeah, yeah. loam. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that is that there, or coming? I don't in? know. I believe I it, it is. There. Is it there? I well, believe it's all, it's, all the, it's all out of the middle school, so it's got to be there. Okay. We probably should talk to John about. Yes. The next step. Right? Right. Hello. Good evening. How's everybody? Good. Good. Thank you. We may want to have everybody introduce themselves. Right. Why don't you all introduce yourself for the um, listening and watching public? <laughs> Hi, Anne Marie. Hi, Snyder. Hi, Snyder. Jennifer Close. Tom Clark. Elizabeth Burton. Mark Melvin. Lori very good. We have one more. It's one more coming in the back back door. <laughs> the wrong door, Laurel. <laughs> you left. Have you got a chair, Laurel? Yep. Good. Okay. All right. Would you like to tell us what you would like to do and um, what we can help you with? Sure. We would like to bring three items by you for your approval. First one, approving the hiring of Megan Brown as library assistant at $10 an hour for 15 to 18 and a half hours a week. Would you like me to do all three at once? Or do you sure, Meg, Megan's worked for us at this point, right? Yes. Approve. Um, how many hours did you say? 15 to 18. 18 and a half. And what was her, her title before? She was a library page. Page, okay. For six years. Okay. Yeah, why don't you give us the three of them, please, at one time? And, we'll... and we have the offer letter. I actually have the offer letter. Okay. Great. You want to do one at a time, is that right? We can listen about all three, and sure. then we'll go back one at a time. Thank you. Make a commitment without hearing about mm -hmm. Thank you. Nancy, do you need a copy as well? I don't know. Of the letter, no, I don't. We'll give you hours, Nancy. Okay. <clears throat> I can, she can pass mine over to her. I'm also okay. I read it. Nancy, can you Bill? Okay. Okay. Uh, That's okay. Thank you. Me again. Second person. The second item is approval for adding a second library assistant position, again at $10 an hour for up to 15 to 18 and a half hours a week. Have you identified a person for that? We do have a, a candidate okay. that we have in mind. Is it a, a former, or is it somebody that's on staff now? No. No, a new person. Okay. That we found in the interviewing process for the um, position for May, that Megan is. Oh, being moved very good. For. Good. And an offer hasn't been made because of course. Of course. What's your third request? <laughs> third, uh, third request. I'm just so curious. <laughs> 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 
respect. As long as it's not a new library building, we'll be fine. We'll go outside. We still want that. We still need that. Okay. Promotion of current library assistant to senior library assistant at eleven dollars an hour. Well, she is currently making ten dollars and sixty-one cents an hour, and this would also she is currently working 15, 18 and a half hours a week. That will continue those hours. And, continue, yes. and for the record, the person in question is who? Uh, Lauren Tower. Can you spell the last name for me? T O W L E R. Okay. Okay. It is. Okay. And we just want to remind you that all three of these positions are not benefit eligible, so we're saving. Mm -hmm. On that piece. Okay. Yeah. We have discussed this among ourselves as well as with the finance director. And uh, she approved that the salaries and that the budget would be able to cover all positions. And there will be no increase in wages except for a town-wide employee cost of living. So this can all be done within your budget yes. at this time? One page it does. Well, I'm glad the finances are there, but you folks seem very excited about this. Yeah. That's We're, good. We are. So tell us what's going on, what's exciting, what's going on at the library? Well, I mean, the library continues to offer a variety of services, mm -hmm. you know, from children's programs mm -hmm. to the large print collection growing, that, you know, we basically are meeting the needs of the community in the sense that we are providing them their material. Right. And in addition, it's just been, such a I'm, I've been here since July 1st and it's been such a warm community connecting with the staff it just it feels very it's a it's a very comfortable you know arrangement and this just would you know secure not only the folks that are there but also you know meet the need of allowing us to grow both opportunities collections do all of the uh, skill sets we have a, a, a wide a, a wide range of things that need to get done and one of the assessments that I've made is who does what and it falls into the this would allow for everything to get done and you know continue to serve and grow all of the services collection material that we have I have backup <laughs> and we believe in your packet there should be a chart of um, libraries hours and we, we've shown you from 2008 until the present the number of staff that we've had on and the number of hours and we just want to show you how this will benefit us as, as thomas was saying um you just went by it too. oh okay oh this was yeah it's the, is this structure yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you can see uh, tom can explain this as well that you know a prime library operating you know is about 173 hours um, and then we're right now down to less than 160. And then by adding these two positions, the third thing um, brings us just about back up to where we were. Okay. Yeah, I've been, since I have been here, I've been operating on the 160 hour a week schedule. Mm -hmm. And although we get everything done, it's a scramble on sure. many occasions. In fact, I'm actually leaving here to go back to the library because we have a program going on and we're you know we have only one person at the desk and that's a bit we have a busy night there this is a typical good example of why that you know increase would uh, bring us back to the you know operating that was before I came here and I think you know, I'm, I'm sure it'd be very beneficial yeah. all parties Absolutely. I just I'm just amazed you know um, you look at the libraries at Merrimack and West Newbury and the regional school library system, and then we've got Haverhill. If, if, if you look at that as if there was competition and these were businesses, your, our, our organization here, our little library is still growing, and you're hiring to that. So that's, that's exciting news. I, very commendable to all of you for, for doing such a great job. It's a wonderful institution. It is. 
a lot of enjoyment for no. families. Congratulations on that. Awesome. Uh, the internet job. and Facebook yeah. also uh, competition. You think about it, right? I've read articles over the years that libraries are going to be defunct. Well, maybe, but not in Groveland. That's well, great news. I've been news. well in Groveland. Yeah. Well, we'll just grow with the times. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Good for you. Exciting. So I see no reason not to. What's that? Support this. Oh, absolutely. I'm absolutely. Um, I'll make a motion to accept the uh, proposals. Uh, I will pour forth by the uh, um, uh, staff of the library, the uh, board, and the uh, interim director, uh, second as that. stated. Do I have a second? I'd second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank you. We should thank you for all you thank do. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bill and Joe, there's some correspondence um, before us tonight that um, I think we both have read and um, Let me talk about it. I prepared to uh, uh, a little bit of background for the public. Uh, there was a dispute between two uh, residents uh, that was, um, um, on, uh, let's see, that was September 8th when that um, when that was an agenda item between Mr. Ryan and Mr. Greenwood. And uh, I had asked permission of the board to possibly mediate a discussion, um, but that didn't happen. And uh, instead, what we have here are two letters where we're asking both parties to uh, um, provide some consideration to each other in terms of making some changes so that they can um, resolve their issue. We, we do not have jurisdiction. Um, this is a civil matter, but we're just uh, asking our neighbors to take some steps uh, uh, so that uh, they can hopefully resolve their issues. And uh, we're going to do that by delivering these letters. These are public documents. If anybody needs copies, you can always uh, make a request to uh, Nancy Lewandowski. And uh, I, I'm in favor of uh, sending these off, one to Mr. Greenwood and one to Mr. Ryan. And uh, Betty, you've recused yourself from this issue. Yes, uh, I did because, because you're a of client or customer of Mr. Greenwood. Right. So and this and would the investigation be, uh, that had gone on was done by my a family member. Oh, okay. So I All just right. felt that it was best that I not participate in that. So with. Uh, so that this will be a letter that will be sent by the Board of Selectmen as represented by myself and William Dunn. Hmm. Yeah, I, I had, Mr. Ryan had come to me and wasn't satisfied with the last meeting that we had with him and Mr. Uh, Greenwood. So that's why I was making a suggestion if we draw up these letters and try to put out a friendly recommendation and get it resolved, hopefully, and make it clear that it is a civil matter and it's not a town of Groveland matter. I think that Joe and I would probably love to sign it and try to put this thing to bed. Yeah, good. And I'm all for it. Well, thank you. That's Hopefully great. we'll have some goodwill come forward. Because of well, this. maybe we can set some precedent, too. People are in dispute, and we can maybe get them together one way or another, either by mediation or by in writing or some combination. It's amazing when people talk to each other what happens. Shall they vote on that sending this out, Nancy? You don't need to. You okay. just sign we just, it. Okay, they just, they just yeah. sign it. Okay, good. I already signed it. You, did, is, you didn't. Oh, no, you not didn't, the original. You didn't sign okay. the original. Okay. There's two, one for yep. Rick and one for Joe. Great. There's another correspondence item. Um, I'm on the, uh, for, the, for the public, I'm on the cable and TV board. And last week there was a, um, a breakdown of our ability to transmit on Channel 9 an important meeting. Uh, so uh, what I did is I sent an email to uh, our technician and um, he responded by giving me a very um, extensive technical explanation as to what happened. Uh, I, won't, I won't read this, uh, but I can tell you that the, um, uh, it, the, 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 the core of this was that Comcast accidentally severed our transmission lines last week and that's what caused the meeting to go on without uh, any um, uh,
coverage on Channel 9 Plus uh, due to a compounding effect of issues, it wasn't recorded either. So the good news is I have this email that is available for anyone who wish to get a copy of it. You can certainly send an email to Nancy Lewandowski and get a copy of it. It's pretty detailed. Um, the technician also went on to uh, making some really good suggestions on also how uh, we can respond, some procedural changes as to how the cable and TV technicians can respond when there is a failure. It's totally unexpected. Like I said, it, the root of it was uh, an accidental severing of our transmission lines, a physical problem, and that created a domino effect of other issues that just prevented us from having it aired live and also even recorded. Uh, so this is a great response. It's going to set some internal policy in the cable and TV uh, c uh, board also as to how to respond to uh, failures uh, of equipment or, or the technology. And um, I, I, I commend Chris LaCorey for putting this together. And some of this, I don't even understand that it. it's so technical, but <laughs> he seems to uh, have figured it out. And this will be an agenda item when the cable and TV our board will meet again so that we can review some policy and how to respond to um, uh, hopefully we won't get too many issues like this but um, how to respond to any breakdown of equipment we've made a very large investment and of course people now are gotten used to checking out our meetings a little bit more frequently and being able to hear us and that's an exciting development and things do break down from time to time and I think we're gonna have a very good response uh, uh, rate based on this experience so if you do talk to Chris, uh, please offer our, my, my congratulations to him for uh, responding so quickly and uh, uh, so um, technically um, uh, well uh, in understanding what the problem was and what needed to be done to fix it. So, And obviously, we're on tonight. <laughs> Problem's been fixed. Very good. Thank you. I, I, I had no idea what had happened. We weren't receiving any TV coverage. So right. Was... Thank you. So we're taking care of um, what we needed to, what Nancy had provided us with, and uh, are we selectmen's time? I guess that's where we are. Yep. Joe, did you go to a meeting down at the school maybe a couple of Thursdays ago? Yes, I did. Thank did you, you for reminding okay, me. Yes, I did. Greg had called me about it, and I wasn't yeah. able to get there. Um, yeah, I was not sure if I could go. That's why I asked maybe you would go. Was that I, the same night? Yeah, this was the, um, the Regional Finance uh, Advisory Committee, which is the um, one board of selectmen from each town. The finance directors, Denise, was there. Uh, the business manager and also the superintendent. And this is an advisory committee. It basically is focused on the needs of the regional school system. And uh, we basically went through, um, um, first of all, we took a tour of the facilities, uh, the, uh, the new track that's being built and the fields. So that was exciting to see. That's uh, well on its way to being completed on time. And then the uh, other thing is we, we began a discussion um, and a review process for um, uh, putting together an advisory group to begin studying the um, uh, high school, meaning that uh, we're going to be approaching, we, the region, uh, regional entity, the school system is going to be uh, putting together a proposal to approach the state for money to probably renovate, not build a brand new high school, but renovate the school. This is a multi-year project and so the approach we're going to take is meet over the next several Thursdays in the next course of the next uh, couple of months or so and begin putting together a proposal that will encompass what the school wants to accomplish educationally and what type of building we need to wrap around that. Uh, so that'll be the forerunner of a formal proposal where we actually uh, in the second uh, possibly believe the second half of next year will actually formally approach the state and ask for money <laughs> to renovate okay. the new school. So, so, so that's very exciting program. To get in the pipeline to see exactly. where we might. Exactly. But they're Master school. loaning money for 
rehabbing. It's not yeah, new it's, facilities. It's, yeah, right? it's pretty competitive. New facilities are rare uh, in New England. Mm -hmm. I think um, more money is being put towards re renovating existing mm -hmm. buildings and building from scratch. Okay. Exactly. Now, naturally, when this project is presented, uh, it becomes a, a matter for public hearings. We're going to be dealing with the issue as well at the Board of Selectmen level, uh, the Finance Committee. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of public input, and there's going to have to be a lot of support because at the end of the day, this is going to be uh, an additional uh, burden on taxpayers because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm sure you won't be surprised the state does not pick up the tab for all of it. What percent do they commit? Approximately with? right now 51%. Okay. So the rest has to be taken care of by the towns and we can do debt exclusion, uh, bonds, and uh, other types of financing, but it will be a burden and it's an inevitable uh, you know, burden. Mm -hmm. uh, at some point uh, we have to renovate the school the high school is the uh, is, is the one that requires uh, that is most in disrepair, but it, uh, physically it's a building that cannot be, uh, help the educators deliver the curriculum and the learning that they want to uh, for 21st century learning. So, so the first part of this project is exciting to me because we're not really going to talk about uh, the physical aspects of the building, but first, what type of education are we trying to deliver? and then kind of figure out what kind of building do we need. How can we make that happen? Make, make that happen. Physical exactly. structure. I, I'm guessing that uh, from start to finish, um, we're looking at a three to five year process. So that was a discussion item, a very a significant discussion item. I, I um, without your permission, uh, of course, I, I wasn't going to ask Denise if she would be on this committee, but we all agreed that if she's not, she is going to be a great resource for us because she actually experienced the a building of a new school in Swampscott. in Swampscott. That was a brand new building that came out of the ground. So she's going to she's going to be a wealth of information for us. Very good. I'm sure um, they were pleased about that. Yeah, yeah. So, so that so is that. But Very thank good. you. No, I Imagine knew that. that you thought you were going to another meeting, and could I attend? <laughs> and then Greg called, and yeah. Well, it's, okay. a, it's a great service, and I, I'm, I'm glad that I can yeah, be a representative Yeah, and I meant to ask you about it before. I did watch a meeting. Um, the uh, Mike Dempsey's committee. Um, Conservation? No, the... Um, community preservation. preservation. Community Preservation. Yes. Preservation. The Capital Planning Community. Yeah. Was, but, um, and, and I heard people weighing in on and what's out there and what that monies could be used for those monies and I heard one member talk about the Getty station and the post office and how it doesn't look so great to have that beautiful bridge coming into Groveland and that building sitting there and I thought that I heard that some of that CPA money could be used on that project. That's my understanding. Hmm. Yeah. I never heard that before. I don't know the details, but yeah. that's my understanding. Hmm. Yeah. No, I did. I heard that too. Did you? Okay. Yeah. If the town purchases it as a, am I correct, a piece of land that would be converted into like a park or something like that, it could be used for that. It might be. They've changed the rules, but That's I don't know if they just mean green space or if it has to be but recreation what it, what green it, space. But well, the way I understand it, I could be wrong. If you take a park and you want to take a park and you want to renovate the park, you can't use CPA money. But if you wanted to build a new park from start it's to available. finish, it's available. I heard that. Or a parking lot situation, it's, it's available. If you say, well, I want to go to Washington ball fields and renovate it and use CPA money, it's not going to happen. So but if they wanted to put a brand new playground there, exactly they may something from start to, to get buy the property, get rid of the gas of station, money, right, 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 at was say Washington Park, and if they wanted to change, if they want something, um, no, nope. nope. if they want to go down there and buy a piece of new play equipment, they can't do it. They can't do it. Nope. It has to be brand new. Has to be brand new, ground up. Never been before, starting from scratch. Yep. All right. Because what I, um, the way I understood it, I, correct me if I'm wrong. 
that would be taking money, like town budgets wouldn't be using their budget money to do it. They'd be going to the CPA all the time and asking the CPA people, can we use your money? Okay. And then the town wouldn't be using their money. Okay. So that's why they were saying startup projects only. Okay, all right. So if we were to be able to move, I, I mean, I know that's privately owned, so that's, there's a lot of what ifs and um, the stars have to be aligned, I yeah. guess. And the moon. In the moon, yeah. Um, well, what I did hear, I think it was Bob Gopto mentioned that, and then Mike did have um, a reply to that. So right now, I think what we're waiting on the Getty station is to get a clear, a clear seal on the uh, cleanup, which I heard was going to happen sometime in the first of November. Well, I I forwarded you something recently. Did you receive that? That they were saying they were doing more testing. Right. And Mike mentioned that too at that meeting about uh, what do they do, borings and drilling. I, I didn't mean to say testing more clean. They're starting cleaning, the cleanup yes. process. Yeah, because and they told us one night they thought they'd be done by November when I was at VZ Park. It's possible because it's they're getting going in, in the right. next week or two. I right. They said it's not bad. The yeah. the cleanup is not a it's not bad at all. It's, well, it's very very minor. Yeah, and because when when there have been issues there, they have been cleaned up to the certain point. But now you know they had to go into the building to check everything, which they never did before, and that's probably where the the I mean, Nancy, remainder you is. You sent me some things. I couldn't copy them, so you probably. Yeah. It was Tyree. It was two or three different people that right. weighed in on that. Right. So they are the ones that are doing it for the for the oh. oil company. Right. Yeah. Very good. I was we, we've been waiting for to get the official okay word mm -hmm. finished before Mrs. Delaflor will yeah. will discuss yeah, it further with us. We couldn't this. talk if it weren't a clean site. Right. Right. That, that was my first uh, community preservation meeting. In fact, and I joined that board, uh, so I'm I'm excited about because um, Donnie was what's on going the, on. Yeah, the Donnie representative was on. from the board. So I, uh, that reminds me that uh, uh, the chair of the. Uh, Community Preservation Act has uh, would like for us to help broadcast that they're looking for proposals. Right. So if folks have ideas about open space or recreational space that could qualify potentially for community preservation. We have a um, uh, uh, an open window right now, and I forgot the date. I'll have to I'll I'll, I'll announce it at the next meeting, but I I can't remember the date. But it's uh, I believe it's. Uh, middle to the end of October so there isn't a lot of time. So. I thought I heard October 15th but I, I could be wrong. October, and yeah. Mike did urge people to call right. if they have any projects in right. mind and certainly talk with him and others yeah. whether it would fit for could, what some group may Could we ask Mike to send to us the minutes of that meeting for our, our next meeting as correspondents? Sure. If you don't mind this way here we can read a little bit more detail. Right. And if, and if people are interested, Mike Dempsey um, is available to speak with people, whether they write to him or call mm -hmm. him. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's a good-sized committee. Yeah, there was quite a few people, so. Uh, Tom Minicello was there. You were there, Joe. Uh, well, yeah, Bobby Gupta was you've, there. You've got, you've got folks that are, you know, historical interests, mm -hmm. recreational interests, finance, you know, Board of Selectmen member. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it has a lot of yeah, representation. I, like I said, I've never been to a meeting, and I joined it, and that was uh, I, I got a great refresher. But if I if we have the minutes from that meeting embedded into our packet at the next meeting in two weeks, then we can read a little bit of some of that right. detail, and then we can again rebroadcast the need for people to uh, you know uh, contact the, the CPA and excuse me, CPC and uh, submit proposals. Right. Yeah. Great. It may not be available though if they don't meet again in between time because yeah. they may. You know, not want to give them out unless they're accepted by the board. Right. So, and they have a lot of projects there that are going on. They're in the process of finishing it, or they're in the process of being done. I'm sorry. Can they you have a lot of, you know, projects that are going on. Yeah. That are in the process, or they haven't even been done. They're you know, they're in the you know, in the, the pipeline. In the pipeline of being done, which they went over that night, which Joe you know, probably knew a lot about. He was there, but that was a it was a good um watching on TV. It was good to see. You know, it's, they're doing a lot of good things. Joe, did, did you ever look at the website for a CPA to see what's allowed? And it's I'll, a good I'll, site to look at. Yeah, maybe about a year ago. I haven't, yeah. I haven't updated myself. So. I, I will be perfectly honest. I came to the meeting just to 
witness it. I had forgotten that I was supposed to be on it. <laughs> so I rushed to go get sworn in and I came back out and joined the meeting. So, but uh, it was good. It's good information. And uh, I'll bring that forth at the next meeting then once I have the minutes. Um, we had a letter, Nancy, from uh, Eric Copper. And then everybody, that, we asked that that letter be forwarded to, and I can't remember, was it zoning Conservation board? Conservation zoning board. Did, yep. did that happen? Did yep. they get that? Okay, good. Very good. And did we receive a response from Pat because we had sent him something? Yes. Yeah, we did. And we, oh, yes. we did. Didn't I give that to you last night? No. Yeah. You, you oh, no. Do you health, did you get the health um, agents? I didn't. Did I got Pat's started? response. Okay. Did, you, did you get a response from Pat? I don't recall, no. I don't either, though. I might have got it through ZBA. Maybe you did. Yeah, that's why. I bet you did. We didn't get, I didn't get it. I just want, you know, we did ask that Board of Health get mm -hmm. that and how many other people. Yeah. Zoning board, yeah. any, any board that was. Yeah, anybody yeah. that was impacted. Health. Health, for sure. Health, yeah, the Zoning, Board of Health, yeah. Building inspector, yeah. so. Absolutely. So, but I, I know it was a week ago that but I was talking to it. I think when we wrote to Pat, we said 15 days to reply yes, to exactly. us. He, he did reply back. I mean, I don't. Okay. I got it through an email as well as I got it from CBA. Okay. But the thing that I would like to see happen, we can talk a minute after you guys read the letter, but I, I'd like to see a couple of things happen if we could okay. after you guys read that letter. Did Tracy leave us? I don't know. Um, it's together. And, you know, with all these events going on in town and so many kids playing sports, I really think that we need to um, sit maybe on an off night to talk about how we're going to coordinate uh, parks, fields, events on our town, town owned land so it flows more evenly. You know, that's a, easily. that's a great idea. Instead of having those folks come in and we let's have a, 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 an open meeting first. Because kind of when they come in, thoughts. different groups come in and. Yeah. I think all the information has to be out to everybody, and yeah. and whether this entails hiring somebody as a director part time, I don't know how we can do that, but we can certainly talk about it and make it easier so everybody has all the information they need. Um, I know Bill went down during Pine Speedway Day. Did you go down, Joe? No, I was not able to. I wasn't hire. able to no. get down there myself, and. Um, I think it just needs to. I don't think there's enough. I don't think. Refined. Right. I agree with Betty. I think what's happening as far as the the rec department and the fields and the ball fields and the pine speedway and the pines, there's no one person in charge, and there's a lot of confusion. What's happening? I think there needs to be like one person in charge or one person saying what field can be used, what time it needs to be ready, what needs to be to have the field ready. I think it's a good idea. I think, and I think it's a good idea to have us either have enough information from the different boards or we talk about it amongst ourselves first and then we, we carry on from there. But I think we're coming to a point in this town where we have this new Pines property will be done in the spring. I think that we need to uh, definitely take a good look at it. That's a good idea. Well, why don't we put it on the agenda ne for, for next, next week? Next week, I agree. And what we'll do is we'll ask for the uh, document that uh, Denise had put together. Yeah, I know I she so. she has a lot that she wants yeah. to talk about and Denise as well. will be back. Yeah. Can we have her meet with us at that meeting? Yeah, I would like that. Because she has a lot that she wants to talk she, about. And she has looked into other communities, right. what they do, right. how they do it. Right. And, and she knows the state law. There's a lot of law that we're not, we're not complying with. We have a lot of state law that we're not complying with as far as our parks and rec and money and what have you. Well, so we might not be. We don't know. We don't know, but yeah. I mean... Tracy was there on the weekend at the Pines Day. How did that go, Tracy? It actually, actually worked quite well. In spite of the rain, that we had a good turnout. A lot of the people, um, because they have such great memories of the Pines Speedway, come regardless of rain or shine. Um, it would have been nicer had we had good weather. We would have had more people, but um, I think those who came had a wonderful time. I know the, the classic uh, cars attendance was definitely down because no one with the classic cars want to drive in the rain but uh, oh, a lot sure. of people brought, brought the rain cars and they just covered the race engines with plastic until noon when they started the engines and uh, so it was a good time 
Very good. Thank you. No, we need to um, just get a better handle on that. We've yeah, got so many groups, and uh, you know, we've outsmarted ourselves because everything's become so nice and feels so great, and yeah. everybody wants to use them and enjoy them. And we have to also, in the same token, you can turn around and have a better maintenance program as well. We only need, in our discussion. We'll take into one of my last series. meetings, I was asking about doing some maintenance on the equipment. This all can be brought into under one, you know, under one roof, under one person, or whatever. Right. And it can, you know. Thanks. Well, I mean, with your background, Bill, I mean, I think, you know, I'm, I certainly want to learn about some ideas because I feel the same way that there's there's a need for managing our resources and our recreation activities, and uh, so yeah, let's get that process started. I, uh, while you were away, we've agreed to um, have on the agenda. Next meeting, a discussion about uh, recreation activities, the management of it, and very specifically, I'd like to take a look at Denise's uh, proposal that she had uh, forwarded to us a few months ago. We've written out yeah, uh, some uh, basically two columns, two different ways that we yeah, can uh, review. Yeah. She uh, won't be here for that meeting, though. That, that's okay. That'll she be won't. fine. If you have questions, she yeah. won't be fine. She has a commitment that she does every year, and that happens okay. to be on that day. Right. So, if you want it on that meeting, she won't I be present. We, I think this will be two or three meetings, anyways, and then we certainly want to invite some of the folks that are involved. So, it's, I think it's okay to kind of do a review, uh, you know, that night, and and then and then that'll open up the discussion, and we, you know, we then the mm -hmm. following meeting we do it again with Denise, and then the following after that we'll invite some of the folks for their opinion. Mm -hmm. Because that are involved in recreation, those that are actually running running things now. And it's Nancy. We spoke about the parks and fields and the oversight and the management and um, you know who's using what, who's scheduling what, and we. And every year, it seems during early winter, people are putting schedules before us and. Um, some groups are taking a big chunk of time, leaving not enough time for somebody else. And it just we just have to find a better way to do things. Um, I agree. You know, because you get the phone calls all day long, and it's it's a hard thing to do. And and it there has to be a fee associated with some of these events now they just we just can't keep doing this because we always call up people and say come down and do this right. take care of this put out cones take care of traffic mm -hmm. um, you know we need restrooms it's well you it's know what huge. happens where the board of selectmen basically is in charge of all the open spaces so it's really become a huge a, um, a first come first serve so by its very nature it's not coordinated it's a competition it is right. Right. It is. Who so gets there first? I know. I know that you know, whoever gets there first. So that's not a good way to manage. No, and now you're going to have fairly. people upset if they didn't get the feel when they wanted it. Right. There's got to be a better management system of how this is managed and how it's delegated. And I think it's about time that we do it. Only because the Groven has grown, and is growing, and we're growing into the pines. And we're going to be growing possibly over the strawberry fields. So I think it's a good time to get this under control now. Yeah. Good idea. Good idea. And like Joe said, we'll do two or three meetings on it and come up with some good ideas. Yeah, and we're not making any decisions. Then maybe bring so the record board in. First meeting, we'll kind of a review of the proposals. The second time, we'll have uh, Denise also commented. And then uh, by the, that meeting or the meeting after that, we'd like to have all of the people that are, you know, the hardworking people that make events happen in this town. We want to get them at, at, the, at the discussion table as well. And mm -hmm. we value their input. They've been doing a lot of good work for us. Uh, the folks that do Groveland Day, for example. You know, let's get their input as well so that we're not making a unilateral decision. We're making a decision including that's... Including everybody. Including everybody to the best to of our them. ability. Right. You know, at the end of the day, we have to do what's in the best interest of the town mm -hmm. and be fully compliant with <coughs> applicable laws, uh, including the changes. And uh, so, yeah, it's a, it's a three to four meeting process. Let, let's, yeah. Yeah, let's start it even without Denise at the, at the next meeting, briefly. Okay. Okay. Right, right. Do you want to talk about these letters from Pat? Um, Nancy just, just provided us, uh, 
we did ask Pat Skeener, our building inspector, to reply to us in 15 days, and I think that time has expired. Is that there, right? there is a letter yeah. there. For there me. is. Yeah. There is. Yeah. Can I can I comment on it a little bit? Yeah, because I didn't I didn't see this letter. That's why I, I mean, I'm seeing it tonight, but that's okay. Well, I'm I, something's wrong if you're not getting my my um, emails. I had trouble with my computer for the last two weeks going off and on, so yeah. Yeah. I don't know if oh, that's remember causing I said it? some attachments I can't open. Me t I couldn't open attachments oh, really? either. Yeah. Now, I scan them the same way yeah. I always have. And I, yeah. I've used an Apple computer, my work computer, and two computers at home. When it says windmail wind dat, it's, I can't open, no, no, nothing will open it. Now, when I scan it, it says PDF. When I when receive it, says, right. yeah, it says PDF. Yep, PDF. Yeah. Yep. And I can't do open, do and nothing comes up. Word docs, PDF. But when it says that wind mail something dot. Yeah, when, yeah, when it's whatever weird. <laughs> Well, I don't it's do anything different. No, I just don't. I know. know. It's us. It's me. It's. Mm -hmm. um, so Deborah did go over there, and she did. Um, she's our health agent. And then you have Pat's response, I think, in your other hand. Right, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm going to read this a little bit. I'm certainly, Bill, you can comment on it. But I'm yeah, I'll, I'll stop that. because I, I sat I on the, this, I'm right. a zoning board, um, on the zoning board. I'm only an alternate, but I did sit on the meeting the other night. And um, I'll start with the selectman. When, when, the, when the building inspector met with the selectman, he basically told the selectman, if I recall it right, that the building in question that they're saying was too close to the property line there was a couple of rotted buildings that needed, they needed to tear them down and put the building up where they were torn down. In another letter that came back before the zoning board, I believe, they're saying that they tore another building down or other buildings on the property and used the square footage of those buildings to put up this other building. It's strictly a zoning board issue. It's not a selectman's issue. Um, the zoning board needs to deal with it. They couldn't get, their, they couldn't get in together that night. It's been postponed until sometime in the 1st of November. My only suggestion would be out of this whole um, prop, you know, this 441 Main Street property is I believe it's time that the town of Wolverine needs to get the boards all working together. I've said it for a long time and I'll say it again. Some people say the paperwork isn't coming right out of the building inspector's office. Other people saying boards aren't talking to each other. I would like to propose tonight to bring the major departments, as in like conservation, planning board, building inspector, um, all the main, main um, boards, chairman in and have a workshop and sit down with all of us and talk about what we can do to implement a new process on how we can clarify issues like this. There was an issue on Salem Street in Groven, the same situation. In the interim, I would like to turn around immediately is to bring our building inspector in, sit him down with us and say, can we take the checkoff sheet that he gives out to all the town people and ask, the, ask him, we cannot demand him, because town council has told us we cannot demand him, ask him if he could give us a few mandatories. One of them might be fire, one might be conservation, whatever. We can sit him down and talk with him and see what he can do to help us come up with a better plan. We stop all this so we, the right people get to the right um, on the right properties so they inspect the properties and we don't have these situations that we're having right now. Um, I think if you talk to all parties involved, some parties are saying they weren't informed right, other parties are saying they were informed right. I think we need to do something that, like we just talked about the rec department. We need to get a good grip on this. This is starting to cost the town a lot of money. There's been a lot of um, appeals and what have you. It's due time we do something. And I think it's out of control. Um, I'm on the, on the board. I, I see it. Um, I, I think it's an urgent thing that we need to get right on. All right, so let me understand. If you, if you ask the building inspector to come in, he would be here with who else? Well, the first thing I'm asking is the building inspector to come in to talk about his sign-off sheet. We were told by the, the council, I believe, that we cannot tell him to make mandatories on his sign-off sheet. Am I, I correct? Understand. We can only ask him, could you please maybe make the fire department mandatory? The situation on 441 Main Street, if I, whatever the address is, it started with the fire department wanting to get a plan. They couldn't get the plan, and this is how the whole thing opened up. If there was a mandatory on the building inspector's checkoff sheet that they, that they, they, that they knew they had to comply with fire, would be all set. There's some situations where you need to get departments involved right away, and it starts over there 
and I understand he doesn't have to come in here and say I want to do it. He may say I don't want to do it. But I think we need to get a few more mandatories. I'm not saying a bunch of mandatories. I'm saying the most important ones. I would think planning board, con um, conservation, fire. And I think he's going to have to come in and, and sit with us and, and see if we can get him to work with us to put some man more mandatories on there. Because people are saying they're not getting the right information. The only problem with trying to pick a mandatory is every single time you need a building permit, no matter how minute it might be for, you're going to require that mandatory sign-off? Well, I think if it was a situation where someone came in for a shed, I mean, I don't think that's a mandatory, but I know what you're saying. How do you say it's a shed versus a building right. or a project? This is what we need to talk about. I understand that. We need, to, we, need to, we need to figure it out. I mean, maybe we say over a dollar amount. We say if, it's, you know, if you're doing an addition on your house, it's going to be a minimum of $30,000. I mean, a dollar amount. If I'm, if I'm putting a shed in my yard, that's only going to be a permit for a minimum. or my, you know, I don't know. Maybe, Pat, that's what I'm saying. We can bring him in and we can talk with him. I mean, he may have a better input. I'm not the building inspector. I'm just trying to resolve this and stop this confusion through the town. It's got to be taken care of. I mean, this thing on Main Street that everyone left that hall that night, they're all mad and, and there's going to be lawyers involved and we're going to be answering this again through council and it's, it's just not the right way to do it, I personally think. Well, you were there at that meeting. so I was there at the meeting. Do you feel that this is a step towards uh, resolving the issue? We've got to start somewhere. I think we've got to start somewhere and I think this is a start. You know, I didn't see it on TV. It wasn't playing. No, so the, I wasn't the there, cameras so didn't work. Yeah, I'm all for it. I don't know. It, it wasn't playing because it was that. not that they didn't want it to play. It was the cameras weren't it, working that it, night. It was a cable. Right, right. Um, Would it hurt to have Pat come in and have a, have a, a meeting with him? No, of course not. I don't think it would. I think that we could talk about, you know, when, we're not reprimanding them by no means. We're, we're just trying to work to make, make this all work together and, and get this thing to run smoothly. Right now it's not running smoothly. And I clearly understand what Nancy's saying. You're not going to make people go get a fire check off if it's a, if it's a shed or if it's something minor. You're putting on it. Right, right. I clearly, or yeah. whatever you need. Right, it's, that's ridiculous. My, and my only concern about that meeting, though, is I think we're going to end up discussing in great detail the issues at, um, at 441 Main, Main Street, and I think we owe a, a courtesy, if not a legal requirement, of having Mr. Harper. Well, you can't do that. If we're you're not, we're not asking about him. his sheet, you talk about the his sheet. sheet. And we're not talking about that. We're okay. just talking about his sheet that night. All right, then. Okay, fine. The agenda is the agenda. Yeah, we're not going to wave from the agenda. I'm absolutely in favor of that. Then we're talking about a, a right. procedural issue. I don't think we can talk about to any specific case. Right. I don't think we can that. talk any more personally. I don't think we can talk about 441 Main Street until the zoning board does their business. Yeah, Once what, they do their true. business, then we can talk about it again. But their business hasn't been settled yet. Right. And, and, and all I can say so is that's still ongoing. That's ongoing, and it's been it's been delayed till sometime in November, because Mr. Hopper they're giving him the chance to go back and pull some more paperwork and do what he needs to do. Good. So so you so know. you're in the process of helping Mr. Hopper become compliant. That's what they're working on. Good. All I'm trying to do is talk about totally different, nothing to do with that. I'm trying to talk about how we can make the building department. One thing, one thing would be nice, and again, we could ask him. We get him in front of us. Is make see if he'd attend all the zoning board meetings. Most towns, yeah, most think, towns do that. That would help. Most towns do it. Maps. Maybe he can. You know, once we throw a few ideas by him, maybe he could give us so when, some answers. When they're having a discussion, a good idea. he could. Right. He could. Answer. Every town around here does it. I, I have a home in Maine, and every town in Maine requires their building inspector to be at those zoning board um, meetings. Because they have input. They have input right then and there. You know? I don't know, you know, I don't know how it works in Groveland, but I know we can at least ask. It's not gonna hurt to ask. I think that would maybe help with the confusion. I think we've had our build inspector for a long time. He's done a good job. I don't I'm not complaining about him personally. I'm complaining about the sy the system is breaking down. We're growing to a point again like the parks and the wreck and blah blah blah. It's gotta be taken care of. We we do not need any more of these complaints coming in before us and they end up where they end up in the legal system and costing the town money. We need to stop it. That's my opinion. Very good. And everyone is, everyone is um, innocent until proven guilty as far as any other thing that's going on. And I don't think we should talk about that at all. No. That's my, you know. Nancy, the sign-off sheet that we have, hasn't that been looked at by council? Yes. And council says that's what you're allowed by... Uh, to give to a person, correct? Well, it's an administrative type of document right. only. Only Pat can make the decision 
um, as to who signs off. It's his, his um, under his laws, under the building code. He has full control over uh, who, who it's should or should sign off. his jurisdiction as to what he... And it, the, the paper is, it's not a legal document. He could throw it away and not even use it at all. Mm -hmm. It's a guide. That's what town council said. It's just, you know, administrative type of, like us giving out a permit form mm -hmm. that, you know, if you want to fill it out, go ahead. But if you don't... My, my, but what I, I understand what Bill is saying, let's talk to him and see if he right. has, he may have some suggestions. Right. You know, you may have su some suggestions and right. just talk it over and see what happens. I would definitely support asking Pat to be <coughs> present during zoning board meetings where something uh, needs his expertise and opinion. Yeah. And the other thing is we, we adopted the 90 day, um, bring the department heads in every 90 days. We haven't mm -hmm. talked to him anyway. So I mean, no, no, so no. we have that already adopted. So we're asking so him we to come before that. us and talk about it. Yeah. We adopted it. And I'm not here to reprimand anyone. I'm here just to try and make the system smooth. Anyone knows me, I'm not looking for a fight. I'm trying to put the fight out. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, I, I just think that we need to, it's got to, Right. Got to stop. It I mean, needs to be. Somehow two buildings got put 10 feet off the line when they were supposed to be 15. And there's a breakdown somewhere and it's causing a lot of havoc. And I know I spoke with the chairman Is of the. Is that on this one permit? What's that? Building. The one they're talking about now. Okay. It's, it's, it's a situation where the building's wrong again. But I did speak with the chairman of the um, ZBA. He did call me in the next morning and he was very upset. And he's seriously thinking of um, resigning because he doesn't have the backing. He's put in front of all these situations where he has to go back and fight them, and he's frustrated. He doesn't have the backing. And he's like, you know something? I go in there, I try, I put out these, you know, I make a, I, for instance, this property, I say you gotta do A, Y, and Z, and it isn't getting done, and now it's back before him again, and now he's in the hot seat. Why do I need to come down here as a voluntary position on a Wednesday night and take this? And that's how he feels, and it's just not getting anywhere. And, and he gets frustrated, volunteer. and he's a volunteer, and he's frustrated, and his board's frustrated. You got a lot of people coming in, and it's making havoc between them. And I just think it needs to start by the process well, needs to be changed. We ask Pat to come in. We can talk with him, and yep. maybe he's got some ideas. Yeah, to that's make all this we can do. Uh, flow more smoothly, and um, it isn't going to hurt to try. No. I mean, in my eyes, as as and there, that's where I know, see it. Would need, that's where I see it would need to be another. started. That's, that's the important thing. We've been thing. on that track. Why get off it? You know, right. We've trying, been trying to. We've been mediating. And solve getting issues and problems. Right. right. And this is, this is a big one, Bill. I'm not trying to good. cause a problem. I'm trying to, no, you're trying to stop a problem. And I'm trying to save the town remedy some money it. and remedy it and not, yeah. and not have all this confusion and fighting and arguing. And I, I think this is what we need to do. I, I do. And I definitely will go back to say one more time, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I definitely think we need to talk to every department head, bring them in like we had that workshop with the ZBA and the planning board. Same thing, we need to have a workshop with everyone, us and all the board heads in and talk about how we can make things run smoother. They may have ideas they could help us with. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be a good idea. Right. I think that uh, a lot of the people that serve on committees uh, and events would have ideas too. With right what we need to and, do. And, and people, people come out to volunteer their time to have a good time for the most part. They don't come out to come to a meeting and have to go home stressed and have to be aggravated and frustrated. They want to come out and have a good time, get things done for the town. And when it comes to the point we start getting stressed and you start getting aggravated, I don't like going to those meetings no, no more than you guys would. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just not worth it. And that's why we cannot keep, you know, doing this we got to making the same mistakes yeah we can't i mean we protect our volunteers that are putting good time and putting their knowledge into all these boards i just think it's time that we we got to protect them we're here to protect them as well you know they're elected or, or whatever it's appointed. just appointed or whatever it is we right. we really got to watch out for them as well and i just think that this would do them do justice and and, and uh, get this see if we can get the system going very good good i'm all for it bill would you want to try and plan for next meeting? We can have Pat come in and speak with us. Can we'll we do that? Next meeting being the twentieth. 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 If he can't make it, we'll do the holiday weekend or anything. At the holidays before then. Next weekend. Next weekend. Okay. Okay, on the twentieth. Is everybody in agreement? With I'm in agreement. The building inspector to come in and talk with us. Absolutely. We don't have to vote on it. it's consensus. I think we should probably give them regarding the time the sign-off sheet. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's real, it. Real That's real it. Focus, yeah. 
And it, it, we, well, we may want and, and also attending, about yeah. attending ZBA meetings. Yeah, right. That's yeah. reasonable. The other thing about. is, is um, we may want to give it more than a half an hour. Do you think? Could it be intense, or what do you think? A half an hour? I think half an hour is good, don't yeah, you? Yeah, thirty minutes. Okay, all right. I think it's good. We may get nothing, or we may get. Well, we can always bring them back in if it okay. takes more. Okay, all right. Than that. Did That's you fine. say on the twentieth, Denise won't be, won't be here? Okay, but we can certainly. Again, talk well, if about she had input, maybe we could talk ahead of time. Sure. She could talk ahead of time. Yeah. Okay, anybody else have uh, anything to bring forward? You, would you mention that to her? I will. I'm sure you will. Because yep. I know when I spoke with her a week or so ago, she had some ideas herself as well. And I think she had gone to the building inspector and asked for those ideas, and I, they were working. Okay. So. Maybe she may want to be in the meeting and postpone it for the following meeting. I don't know. We'll see. But we'll shoot for that date anyway. Okay. Anything else? Bagnell School project, um, irrigation loan being brought there. I don't know if we should get in touch with John Osborne and his committee to see. Uh, I thought that's why he came in tonight, honestly. I, I thought Was he here tonight? I always mess it up. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> I always mess it up. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, but, you know, Are yeah. problem with mistaken identity? Yeah. <laughs> because the irrigation part in the seeding bill, does that have to be done before Yeah, November? they have a deadline pretty soon. I don't think the dirt's even spread, but I don't know. I haven't followed up well, on it. Well, I think it. when Bobby got some time. Right, and he, he, hasn't, get, he hasn't, he hasn't done it yet. yet. Yeah. My whole thing was if He's we had that. He's trying to get paving done. He's trying to do some right. of the button everything up here. Yeah. My whole thing would be, as far as that Bagnell project went, I would like to see the board have an outside company take a look at it as well. I mean, get, just don't go spread dirt and say we're going to seed it. Have a plan. Know how much dirt is in different areas and have someone do a little bit of a little bit of legwork behind it before they go. I mean, I'm not the board, and I'm sure they have their own ideas, but... I, I would be in favor, if it was possible, whether we get it in writing or whether Bob is able to come in, that we get the information from Bob Barrichelli as to what's going on there. And if Bob can't do it, maybe we will have to ask John about hiring somebody to yeah. take care of that. Because how long can that all sit there? Because, is that because, well, they have until, like, the middle of November, and after that, the seed's not going to germinate. Right. And the, re the reason for that is that the request was made by Mr. Osborne, but there were concerns about the speed of getting things done and how much could be done, and we gave it to the capable hands of Bob Arakillian to come up with an action plan as to what well, could be done at what, at what speed and what schedule, so I'd rather hear from him, because that's going to be practically what has been done and will be done versus potentially additional requests or unmet requests by Mr. Osborne. No offense to Mr. Osborne, has worked very hard for the town on these issues, but um, I just want to get an update from the person who's responsible for getting it done. In, in all, in Not all, the person um, who's requesting to get it done. In all, um, in all respect, I know Bob has gone down there and installed some piping already. I think he's done parts of what he was going to do. I think the last, only thing he had left to do, I believe, was to spread the dirt, but I'm not speaking for him. But well, I mean, he didn't have... He, he didn't have he a contract. He didn't have a list of things he said right. he'd do. Right. He keeps getting things requests to, right. requests to right. do things. Right. And he does what he can. But right now he's also trying to do right. what needs to be done at the Pines and uh, some paving in town and drainage. He was doing catch, having Sh what we're saying, catch yeah. basin. I right. mean, there's a lot of work. The, the committee... And getting ready for winter right. is equipment. Right. The, the committee, I heard only hearsay, had... X amount of dollars set aside for that project to finish it. And I heard that part of that budget to finish it was going to be now used for a generator, I believe, is what I heard. And the money end of it is shy for what they need to finish the parking lot and maybe the seating. So I don't know if it's even our, our bother at this point to worry about it. I just don't think we should... Unless they come to us and ask us, I would say. Well, there's no sense in seeding if we don't put the irrigation system in. Right, correct? but I'm getting that. I think it's the committee that needs to come to us and ask us for the help. I don't. Are we looking out for them to ask them? I'm confused. Are we asking them? They need help. I mean, 
I thought they were going to finish it. That's my no, whole we point. We need an update. That's okay. All right. Simple okay. enough. We just. I, I, I thought they were finished, and then they found they had some more money, so they're thinking yeah. of ways to use Doing it. These other things. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We we want to get an update, and that may or may not reconcile very well with Mr. Osborne's original requests. So I'd rather hear from the people who we tasked to get the job done as to where they're at. Well, the last time this was brought up before the board, the board said if Bob can do it to uh, let him know, let Mr. Osborne know right. that what he can do out of that list that he had sent to everyone sure. that Bob was ignoring mm -hmm. in his mind. Right. <laughs> and I asked Bob and he said he took care of the catch basin issue, I believe it was, and um, that he would get to the, the backyard when he could. Right. Well, he could. He's Doesn't mean next week. Right. That's why we need to hear from the person tasked to do the job, not the person wishing to mm -hmm. get the task done. Well, I, as I said, he's busy with other things right now, and I'm sure he, you know, he, he does what he says he'll do. He just yeah. sometimes not as fast as somebody may I want mean, him not, to. I'm not concerned. I think we'll do what we can. Um, you need a bigger highway department if you're going to keep yeah. having them all do these projects. Thing. Right. Or we can sell off pieces of Grove and make it a smaller <laughs> town. Okay. Is that it for this evening? 7.30? Yes. You know, and if you, you don't vote on this tonight, that's fine. Property use uh, permit. Um, well, they do every year for the Groban Congregational Church Fair for the use of the Perry Park. Um, What's the date on that? Yeah, you know, that's uh, November 7th and 8th. Yeah, just so uh, it's fair so people see me on camera. I'm not trying to hide. Uh, but uh, my um, use permit, I'm changing hats representing the Congregational Church. Uh, we have used the Perry Park um, field there across from the church. Uh, the last two years for parking for vendors and church volunteers to get people off of King Street. I don't know if you've ever seen people when they turn from Main Street on to King Street, they don't slow down. And so I got the idea um, two years ago that if we had no parking on that side of King Street and had people parking in the park, um, we wouldn't have as many people um, crossing the street. We saved the church parking lot at the church for people who were actually purchasing things. And I have made arrangements with the police department to borrow as many traffic cones to cone off the areas that I feel people should not be parking. And I will be there monitoring the parking pretty much like I did for time speed where we were we actually at Pine Speedway, we had uh, four people working on parking. Um, and whenever the parking lot at the time filled up, we redirected people behind the library, the police station, and all the parking. Okay. I noticed. Like I, I spoke with Barbara Kalian. He did approve verbally on Saturday. If you want to put off signing that until you confirm. He told me he did. He okay. said it's okay to do that. They've right. done it. Okay. He, has, he didn't have a problem. Yeah. And if you All want right. to talk with the police, I have no problem. After the last two church fairs, I contacted the police personally, um, both uh, Dwight, Sergeant Dwight McDonald and the police chief, and I've asked them if there were any issues, uh, and they said they have been. So you don't need a police detail, Tracy? No, no, I would be I'm fine with it. So, you'd like us to approve this property use permit for Friday, November 7th, 2 p.m. to 9 p.m., and Saturday, November 8th, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., and use of the field for parking. Um, this is the third year that it's been requested, and there's never been an issue. It hasn't been. Um, yeah. You can ask yeah, if you want to confirm with the road yeah, I believe you. You, I'll, I'll, I'll double check. Right. If Bobby said he, no. 
So you and Bob spoke on Saturday about this yes, event, and Nancy confirmed. Bob told me that yep. today. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you want to? We we are going to ask you to follow the guidelines, the new guidelines. Oh, do you want to do that? Yeah. So instead of us, if you can reach out to the different departments that would be impacted and just. Okay. Well, the two departments that I know we have input that I've been told and yeah. asked were uh, impacted was was. Uh, Police? Bob, because he's in charge of the parks sure. right, and recreation. Okay. So I talked to him. All right. And the police department, because you now again, park, anything parking um, or change of parking is something that they're affected by. Uh, like I say, um, it's, it's run the last two years with without. Okay, so they said it's okay on both sides. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. And like I say, I'll be borrowing. A ton of the traffic cones. I mean, the traffic cones were felt modestly for the Plain Speed Reunion and the new signs that the police department have that say temporarily no parking. That's even better because in the old days, we used to have people at the Plain Speedway Reunion and sometimes at the church fair try to parallel park in between the traffic cones. Right. I'd be running up to them and say, excuse me, the cones are there because we don't want people to park there. And they're like, oh, I thought I could park in between the cones. Oh, you, you need some tape. Do you ever see him get out and move the cones so oh, they can fit? Yeah. We, have a new, have we have a new set of guidelines for making requests for use of uh, town property. So we don't need anything from writing in writing from Bob because he's communicated that directly to the board through Nancy. So if you could ask someone in the police department to either provide an email communicate or communicate directly to Nancy, okay. then that will satisfy our requirements for meeting the guidelines for making a request for use of town property. Because okay. we want to make everyone abide by the same, same set everybody. of rules. Right. And that's so. why I figured I wanted to start. Yeah. It's not until yeah. November, so I figured if I made yeah. the request now, yeah. whatever. Because otherwise you have to get something in writing. But if right. Bob is all set because he told Nancy, and, we, and that's fine. She, that means she told the Just board. So future, you know, do, would you prefer to have it? We get something in writing. From Absolutely. Both Bobby and the police department. Absolutely. Have an email Send or something. Even an email is good. You okay. know, if we get an email from uh, Officer Gillen, for example, okay. that would be great. Okay. You know, something on letterhead. And I'll make sure. Uh, yeah. Tracy, I, I'll email and ask to police to confirm that there's been no problems there. Yeah. You've checked and with them. They'll respond immediately. Yes, yeah. Yeah. That's so the way to do it. You know, like they say, Dwight McConnell. Yep. Know, yeah, we're, 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 getting out of, we're getting out of the business of us going to those entities and saying if it's okay for you to use the land. We have to have you take the ball, run with that, and provide us with the evidence that you are in compliance with the guidelines. Would it, would it, it, you know, when I submit the property use thing, if I had a letter from both blogs, that would be the way to do it. Step, right. would, it's yeah. a step you don't have to worry about. So, right. so it's fair. So anybody else that wants to pull a permit to use property, they're, they're doing the same thing. They have to do the legwork, whether there's insurance involved or police or fire or the highway department that's impacted. You have to provide documentation. That you're getting. Do you see anyone, you know, as far as, you know, like I say in the past, it was police and plot for parks. Do you see anyone else that I should notify on this? I don't think so. Okay. Well, like I say, I want to do my due diligence. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Somebody else should be no, it's, it's a police and highway yeah. issue, so I don't see anything else. Okay. Thank you, Tracy. Good. <clears throat> Concluded your comments. We can adjourn, huh? Terrific. Okay. Motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. All in favor. Aye. 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 Shut up.